Many of us have been there. You spend the whole summer after your senior year pumped up to head off to college. On move-in day, you're so excited, you can't wait to be on your own. But then sometimes things don't always pan out the way you thought, and soon, before you know it, you're missing home. The good news is that's a completely natural feeling, and there are things you can do to get used to life away from home. Dr. Frank Cummings from Psychology Associates is with us here this morning uh, with some tips. Good morning to you, Dr. Frank. Good morning. Good to be here. So first of all, uh, this is a natural feeling to, to be homesick. Absolutely. It happens to lots of people in lots of different settings. Okay. And so your tips are uh, the following. First, give a life, get a life. What do you mean by that? Well, that's right. I think one of the things that parents need to understand is that they gave their child a life. Now it's time to get their own. And one of the challenges is when you send somebody off to college is that you kind of fill this empty nest, but also it kind of reminds you of things that you need to get done in your own life. So get your own life. Okay. A can-do attitude. That's right. One of the things that we really know is that if parents believe that their children are going to be successful, more often than not, the kids are. And that same thing works for us as well as parents, is that if we can get over something, that goes a long way in helping us and motivating us to do just that. Okay. Trust and obey. This kind of intrigues me. What do you Yeah, mean? it is. You know, it's kind of a, a part of a hymn, but one of the things that's kind of a play on words there is that you have to ask your kids what they need from you, and you have to trust them in that, and then do what they say. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, I'm trying to think of a, a, a good example that where that would happen, but uh, that's interesting. Yeah, definitely listen to your kids. And, that's and right. One of the saying. things that uh, when our son went to college, one of the things he told us about two or three weeks into the, the, his freshman year was, thanks for not calling me every day. So guess what? We didn't yeah, do it. Yeah, that's a great example. Uh, techno joy. That's right. You know, you just don't have to use uh, letters or use the phone. There are other things you can do. You can text message your kids now. Use the technology that's available. Another thing that you can do is also email them. It can be something that can be done quietly and also let them know, he or she know, that you still love them and you still care about them. Yeah, and there's web cameras with all the new technology out there. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy to connect back home. Yeah, and it can be done cheaply too, especially with something like Skype. All right. Um, also, your last one is let the ship sail. That's right. You know, one of the things you have to do is you just have to let go of things you don't have control over and then just trust that things are going to be okay. And one of the things you can do is just pray for your kids, too. You know, I feel sorry for kids that have their moms praying for them, but even more sorry if they have their grandmothers praying for them. <laughs> <laughs> so let that ship sail. And, uh, you know, I have to admit, uh, you know, I suffered a little bit of, a, of homesick when I went away. I was three hours away from college. And, uh, you know, things start to just fall back into place. And then when you come home, when you go back home over Christmas break, you think, oh, I need to get back to school immediately. <laughs> I can't take these parents anymore. <laughs> but thank you so much for those tips. Uh, it should help a lot of people out there, I'm sure, who are feeling this right now because it's been, what, only a couple weeks now into the school year. That's right. And you also have to consider, too, I think, um, some people are starting to see uh, the true colors of their roommates, and that can be a difficult situation as well. Oh, absolutely. You bet. Yeah, but let that ship sail. I agree. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Yeah. Frank. We have plenty more to come here on Good Day Wisconsin. We'll be right back. Thank you.